52,000 people have signed a petition calling for the DA's office to be more aggressive in prosecuting a former pet store owner. Now, her home was raided back in 2016. An investigator found more than 2,000 animals on her property, some dead, others just in need of veterinary care. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez has more. This video, obtained by PETA through an open records request, shows state inspectors raiding Lynn Kubik's property in 2016. When they asked how many animals they might find, she replied, a few. They found 2,000, plus the rotting remains of about 50 others. Dan Payton of PETA says Kubik was only supposed to have 200. She and her husband, who at one time owned Jurassic Pets in Thornton, have both been found guilty of animal cruelty in the past. After the raid on their property, they were again both charged with animal cruelty. 36 counts each. It's been two years, and people say the wheels of justice are moving way too slow. I believe they, they made them get rid of all the animals. Neighbor John Cano remembers the raid. Every animal they had. Payton says they gathered signatures to send a message. The DA's office has shown absolutely no oomph so far in taking this case seriously. District Attorney Dave Young dismissed the felony counts against Ken Kubik after he pleaded guilty to criminal trespass. PETA wasn't happy with that decision. Payton says Lynn Kubik's case is an opportunity for prosecutors to show they care about upholding the law and protecting animals. The only way to keep animals safe from Lynn Kubik is to get a court order telling her in the state of Colorado until the day you die, you are not to push your hands on a single animal again. And Lance reached out to the Kubiks today. Mr. Kubik told Lance that he had no comment, that his wife wouldn't comment either. He did say he was absolved of the 36 felony counts against him, referring to the plea agreement. Mrs. Kubik is due in court Monday morning.